SP3 determines 1S octal and 3P octals and 2P octals. S octal is the spherical structure, P octal is the downwards and D octal is the double double. So, one S octal and P octal, D octal, one S octal and 3P octals and 2D octal to form SP3 D2. The shape is? Shape is octahedral. What is the meaning of octahedral? The square is the only one plane and top and bottom. So at the four corners on the top side and bottom side. That is the octahedral. Suppose just look at the SF6 is the example. SF6 is the example. Here, sulfur is the 6 two elements. The floor is the 7 two elements. Halogens. Oxygen sulfur group. So our the most electronic configuration is the NS2 and NP4. So obviously, this is the one lone pair, and this is the 2, 3s, 3p, and 3d0 is also there. But here six chlorines are there. So I need the six single electrons in sulfur. That's why here only two single electrons are there. So first exact state, I got a four. Then second exact state, six single electrons are there. Yes, I will get. Then immediately start the hybridization sp 3 d 2 So obviously sp 3 d 2 hybridization is octahedral. So here number of lone pairs is equal to zero because here there is no lone pairs, only bond pairs are there. So this is the SF6 model. So in SF6, six bond pairs plus zero lone pairs are there. And another model is the BRF5. BRF5, yes, yes, yes. BRF5. So, bromine is a seven group element and NS2 and NP5. So, two lone pairs and three lone pairs and one single electron and three D is also NP. So, first exact state, second exact one, two, three, four, five single electrons are available. Here, five chlorines are there. That's why hybridization is SP3D2, but one lone pair. So, SP3D2. General hybridization is huh? but one lone pair is there. Now, the two cases of questions are arrived either equatorial or axial based on lone pair, bond pair repulsions, lone pair, lone pair repulsions. So, here a lone pair is there, rest of bond pairs are there. If suppose the lone pair is present in either equatorial or axial, both are same repulsion number. That's why this is the more preferable structure. Now the new shape is the square and and only one top pillar and next is the cloud. Lone pair is the cloud. Pyramid square, pyramid and next so one five bond pairs plus one bond pair and then next one is the four bond pair plus two lone pairs. That is the XEF four. So XEF four no doubt. How many lone pairs are possible? XE. Is that NH2 NP6? I want the four single electrons. First exact set two single electrons. Second exact set four single electrons. SP3 D2 hybridization. Two lone pairs are there. Now, where is the locations of the two lone pairs? This is the important question for IITs. So, either axial or equatorial is the most important concept. Maybe two lone pairs are present in the equatorial. What is the next case? One lone pair is present in the equatorial and one lone pair is axial. In what is the other case? Two lone pairs are present in the axis. How this two? Here bond angle is 90 degrees. According to the Vesper theory, lone pair, lone pair repulsions, 120 degrees are more than 120 degrees. The repulsions are not flexible, but less than 120 repulsions are flexible. That's why here the bond angle is 90 degrees. More strange structure. That's why this structure is uh, not exists because more repulsions. Here, lone pair, lone pair repulsions are there. That's why this structure is not considerable. And next one is the lone pair, lone pair. Again, 90 degrees are there. That's why this structure is also not considerable. But here, lone pair, lone pair is in exactly opposite direction, 180 degrees, less strain, more stable structure. That's why this structure is preferable, and this is the clouded. One lone pair is top and another lone pair is bottom. Then here XE, F, 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 F. So only one square and top one is the lone pair cloud and bottom is also lone pair cloud. That's why 
close the two lone nerve pairs. Obviously, what is the shape? That's why these are the possible structures of the SP3D2 hybridization. So, final conclusion of SP3D2. What is the shape of this one? What is the shape? What is the shape? What is the shape? What is the shape? That's, that is the SP3D2 hybridization. If you want next hybridization, that is the SP3D3. Same concept. SP3DC also, 1S orbital and 3P orbitals and 3D orbitals. That is the pentagonal bipyramidal. What is the meaning of penta? 5. 360 degrees divided by 5 is equal to 72 is the bond angle. Pentagonal. What is the meaning of penta? 5 bones. Yes. So, 360 degrees by 5. Obviously, 72 degrees is the bond angle. So, same plane is the penta and top one and bottom one. Huh? Join the five on this top side and join the bottom side. Obviously, pentagonal, top one, one pyramid and the bottom one, another pyramid. Two pyramids, pentagonal, five pyramid. So, one SR tal plus three PR tal plus three DR tal is the SP3 D3 hybridization. Pentagonal by pyramid. So join the five corners on the top direction and join the bottom direction. So obviously pentagonal by pyramid. So if suppose, for example, IF7. IF7. So what is the address? N is 2, N D 5, N D 0. Okay, 3 is to 4 is to 5 is to that is different. So obviously what happened? Lone pair 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and DR tal is empty. So here how many floatings are there? Seven. So I need how many single electrons? Seven. seven single electrons. First exact state, three single electrons only. So I want second exact state, five single electrons. Third, seven. So total hybridation is SP3D3. So this is the pentagonal by perimeter. So SP3D3, first model is all are seven bond pairs plus zero bond pairs. So, next example is the XCF6. Xenon obviously NS2, NP6, ND0. I want the uh, 6 single electrons. Already, what is the position of the xenon? All are lone pairs or bond pairs? But here still 6 floatings are there. So, how do you this? Tell me. First exam stage, second exam stage, third exam stage. Hybridization is SP3D3. But still, one of is there. SP3D3 is shape is the pentagonal by pyramids. But one lone pair is there. Whenever one lone pair is there, obviously one lone pair is there. Here, there is no bond. That's why there is no shape. Only pentagonal pyramid. But according to the lone pair bond pair theory, two possible structures are there. What is the how many possible structures? Two possible structures. Where is the location of the lone pair? That is a very, very important point. So, either equatorial position or axial position. This is the very, very important point. Sorry. This is the very, very important. So, here there is no concept of lone pair, lone pair. Only here lone pair versus bond pair. Here lone pair, bond pair, bond angle. 90 degrees. Here also 90 degrees, 1. So, from here to here, 70 degrees, 2, but here to here, 72 plus 72 degrees, 144, more than 120, no need to cancel, and again this is also 142 base, and this one is a, okay, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 4, so total 4 bond pair, lower pair, but just look at here, 1, 92, 3, 4, 5, 5. That's why this structure is not visible because 5 bond pairs, lone pairs are there. 5 bond pairs, lone pairs are there. Of these two, who is the more preferable structure? First one is the more preferable structure. Listen, friends, in the national examinations, this type of questions are very important. Location of the lone pair is the equatorial or axial. So one lone pair is there. In general, by heart formulas, okay, lone pair is very easy. But location of the lone pair is very, very important. In this structure, where is the location of the lone pair? Equatorial or axial? Equatorial. 
equatorial. The location of the lone pair is equatorial. That's why the structure is six, still six bonds are there. But one lone pair is there, not properly because of the repulsions between the lone pair versus bond pair. The shape is slightly distorted. That's why. The